What's going on guys and welcome back to episode 16 of Adventures in Minecraft. We start off here today pretty much where we left off uh, in the last episode. Uh, this episode is basically a day after yesterday. Uh, I recorded uh, episode six, 15 even yesterday, 16 today. So keeping up with schedule, uh, being able to uh, bring videos continuously hopefully and because I only release them every uh, two or th every other day I think um, Tuesday Thursday and Saturday it allows me to, to backlog content and makes it much easier than, than trying to achieve daily uploads which personally I don't you know want to want to try and achieve so um, today we've got something a little bit different um, well different in the sense that I'm actually a little more prepared than last episode. I would like to uh, apologise uh, somewhat for last episode because, you know, it wasn't the best... Uh, there's a skeleton around here somewhere. It wasn't the best of, of um, episodes for myself. You know, I realised during editing uh, how much it wasn't thought out you know and and what I could have done better and so on and so forth I mean there's there's bound to be episodes like that uh, and something that I want to note as well is that um, in the last episode the the bar so the the area at the bottom of the screen down here uh, I don't know if my cursor's turned on in the video so basically where your levels and all your items are your hot bar and then the inventory screen here um, you know that would have been a lot smaller in that video because I hadn't um, set the uh, options uh, video settings as GUI scale I hadn't set that to large uh, which of course you can currently see it's on so that makes a big difference when you're recording in full screen uh, because when it comes to downsizing videos it will automatically um, oh dear. When you set your GUI scale to large, it'll automatically um, make sure that the scale is uh, to size and also that you can see, or at least you can see in the video, um, the the whole bar and all the items and stuff. So, last episode was a bit of a, I don't want to say fail, uh, because, you know, it's never nice to dampen your own content so to speak although to be honest it wasn't the best of, of episodes oh, damn it I'm failing with the stairs um, and also last episode was the I mentioned briefly in the video it, I said it was a shame because uh, it was the longest that I've had to prepare and record and what I meant by that is I let's just say I woke up extremely early we're talking um, we're talking 8 o'clock in the morning I woke up um, and you know I was, I was awake since 8 um, just waiting for the time to uh, record and then I could continue on with my day and, and do what I need to do um, you know I actually went out later on in the day um took a little bike adventure so to speak and I'll uh, I'll get to that in just a moment but uh, yeah so I was up since the, the crack of dawn so to speak I mean I don't work currently uh, unfortunately but you know when I was working uh, in the last employment I I used to have to get up or wake up even um, let's use proper grammar here um, or sentences however yeah I used to have to wake up woke up whatever you get the point. I woke up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. So, once I got over the original shock of being up that early, after not being up that early in many months, you know, because it's been quite some time since I um, had to wake up that... Well, I didn't even have to wake up, you know, that early. It was just the case of 
you know, my little brother um, stood in school, so obviously, you know, he gets up fairly early to go and do his thing and, and get ready. So I woke up. I don't even. I don't even know whether he won't. No, he was. He wasn't even up at the time, so I was up before him. You know, my day rarely begins before his anymore. So, um, so yeah, early start, and then um, got the got the video recorded, and then realised afterwards that I hadn't managed to record it in the way that I usually do or like. And to be honest, uh, all that I usually do, I talked about um, the fact that I use some sort of video reference to how am I going to do this three, one, two, three. is that how I want it I'm basically just making an outline pattern for this part that seems a bit seems a bit bulky does it not and we're going to have to follow the outline of of this anyway Sure, what I was talking about. Um, you know, my day rarely begins before his. I woke up and um, got the episode done. And uh, yeah, audio sync. Yeah, that was it. The uh, the video reference. Um, all I do is is basically uh, like I'm now here. I'm on the the Minecraft menu. I'll I'll say something in the video. Uh, so I'll start audio recording and then I'll. Um, I'll say I'm going to start recording now uh, and then when I say now I click the, the back to game button and then I'll make sure there's a gap between whatever I say before now I'll make sure there's a gap between that and the word now um, and then it's pretty easy to sync up the audio in uh, Sony Vegas is what I use for video editing uh, because all you have to do is uh, zoom into the timeline and then look for the little wave uh, and play it and it will, you'll, you'll hear yourself say now um, and then uh, you just look for the video reference you know you look at the beginning it's it's near the beginning always of the video of course because uh, you know that's when you you start recording so um, you look on the video and you um, you wait for it to say now and then um, and you look for the menu close you sync the audio together and uh, voila, Bob's your uncle. But uh, apparently, in uh, this case of, of recording, I failed, I guess. Uh, I didn't... I could have sworn that I, I did the usual, you know, menu and hold now thing. Um, but for some reason, when I got to, to the editing, there was absolutely no reference there. It was just me uh, welcoming back as the viewers you know and it was just a regular commentary so a little bit of a blunder on uh, my case uh, you know on my side not particularly the best uh, recording I've ever had probably one of the worst in the series so far but it was something to to learn from oh and uh, emeralds right here is there Yeah, there's mobs somewhere around here. See, it's always difficult when recording. You never know whether to go after them and chase them or or um, have to just leave them in the background as the undead. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That was yesterday's events. And then we've got, like I said, I'll, I said I'll talk about going out. So, um, I am a regular ice skater, uh, I guess you could say, basically... I've been ice skating a little over a year now. Um, February 2012 was when I started, late, you know, 20th. 20, I think it was 21st, 23rd or something, February 2012. I first went skating with a, a group of friends from work. And then I've been going, after that I went with a mate uh, from... One, oh dear, I didn't mean to dig that out. One, two, three, four, five... So yeah, I used to go with a mate once every Saturday uh, for about two months. We were going uh, with just wearing the blue skates and then basically the rental skates. And then 
on the I think three months in just after two months we we bought our own skates and uh, we bought some uh, you know I'm gonna say the name so if you're not a uh, someone who skates then uh, feel free to google these or ice skates uh, if you want to see what I'm talking about but we bought some Bauer Speed Vapor TIs or T1s. I'm never sure what they're called. Um, and funnily enough, I'm I'm still using those. You know, they've still lasted me. I did buy some um, some ice skates called uh, Bauer One Fours uh, in between. But uh, let's just say you can't you can't beat classics. So don't try and upgrade just because of the the price of something is is better. Or you know, is significantly higher. Pardon me. Than um, is that a, a creeper face? Can't say I've ever noticed that on the side there. Hmm, strange. So yeah, don't buy something just because the price is higher than probably you know something that's competitive in the market with it. It doesn't really. There's no real change um, between the two. The, the TIs, the original ones that I bought with my mate, are actually significantly better uh, than the ones that I bought. And, um, you know, unfortunately here hasn't been skating in quite some time. Uh, so, you know, now obviously um, I go with different people here and there. And, uh, and I know quite a, a significant amount of people at the ring um, already. So... Are we using half slabs? Yes, we are for the wood. Probably shouldn't have made 64 blocks of wood in that case. So like I said, I got to know a significant amount of people in the time because I've been there for so long and of course you uh, you pick up talking to people and so on and so forth. So Still using the original ones. Uh, so yeah, I went skating, basically not to, to get too, too sidetracked from the original story. And uh, after recording the video, I... Um, I got ready, went out, uh, took the bike this time because it was it was a sunny day. So I went out on the bike, uh, basically the ice rings in the the city centre, uh, city centre being just around three, over three miles away from my house. So the bike, I mean, it's not so bad that the um, the ride is is that far if you class that as far at all. Um, you know, it's it's different, definitely, to pull it that way. But the only thing is, if if you go ice skating, then kind of riding there or, or taking the bike, kind of, um, you know, it's uh, it takes away from being able to ice skate because ice skating takes up so much energy. And I mean, when you do it at the level that I do it at, well, I don't mean skill level, but basically just. Uh, for how long in a day that I do it basically I'll get there for uh, you know sometimes one two o'clock in the afternoon and then I'll be there until around nine o'clock at night so and meanwhile I'm helping other people skate helping people up off the floor you know because I, I volunteer there at the moment um, so you know you're helping people up you're helping them off the ground you're you're making sure that everyone's good you know doing what whatever they're supposed to be doing in terms of rules and stuff and uh, it's a busy day to say the least, you know, but uh, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it, so it's it's a good thing to do um, it's enjoyable and it's also a time passer while I'm not working as well, so um, so yeah I guess, taking a look just, by the way, just to point out, this area at the front here is uh, the, the same design as if I take a, a quick run around or based on the same design even as uh, this here I tried to, you know, the front section this this I built randomly uh, when I first let's close that, when I first made the cave uh, this was the first thing I built and then I extended it down and played around with the design of this and then went on further to that section down there so I tried to replicate the um, design here and hopefully it looks pretty much the same possibly change the area around the outside over time and stuff and you know as you can see in this area is looking pretty nice now since the 
the grass has grown. Uh, I'm probably going to play with the design here a little bit off camera uh, and start extending this and stuff and, and build just a little bit more and also that zombies annoying a significant amount. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I say, it's a, it's a whole bunch of fun, you know, regarding the ice skating. Um, something to do definitely and something to get into for, for young people if you haven't already tried it as well as old people you know because i we we get people walking there that have never done it and they're old uh you know 30s 40s 50s whatever and they they seem somewhat embarrassed to admit that they've never done this before and they can't skate and it's you know we it's always this you're always going to bump into new people you know so it's it's skill building and stuff and it, it helps in later life i guess uh which you know i'm still to Still to see the benefits, so to speak, although, you know, one day I know that I'm, I'm going to be able to look upon the the ice skating and, uh, and see how it helped me in my overall career. So, definitely going to stick with it and, uh, and um, continue to, to build on, um, on my skills. Uh, you know, it's also fun just to, to do generally, just to to get out there and have an ice skate and it's it's not normal walking on ice so it's always fun to see uh, what people come up can come up with and uh, you know in terms of uh, moves and what their ability is and uh, it's always something fresh so I'm going to take a, a quick break here and uh, I'll be back with you in uh, in just a moment for the for the second half of the video so welcome back guys it's nice to uh to continue recording um so yeah something that i'm noticing with this cave is that it's looking a lot better than what it was when i first got down here i mean it's always going to be better than the default cave and if you're basically the whole thing of, uh, of you know this or, or being in a cave is i got it from um from watching Etho's lab uh, Etho is oh gosh darn it I'll just put the silk touch pickaxe away Ugh, whatever is life um, there we are efficiency 4 probably need to get I'm breaking 3 at least on this so I'll probably have to enchant some books and hopefully I can manage to do that in the near future so uh, like I'm saying uh, inspiration for or the inspiration based upon living in a cave comes from watching a fellow YouTuber called Ethos Lap, and uh, he's been playing Minecraft since, uh, and even recording Minecraft since the alpha versions. Um, you know, and I watched one of his earlier videos. I don't know if it was a recent video, actually, or an earlier one. I've been I've been trying to watch uh, a lot of his. Um, earlier videos to understand and contemplate how he began as a, a YouTuber so to speak um, because it's always important I feel to do some market research so to speak and uh, get you know the, um, the know-how of how people became to to what they are um, and uh, I was watching one of his videos anyway and uh, he was saying how he began uh, and what you know what got him into uh, to YouTube in general um, sorry just to, to to notify I've changed this area down here a significant amount uh, I've been playing around with some designs and uh this is the cave area um just a, another shaft mine area that leads onto the cave nothing really too special but i thought it would make for a nice little project so i went ahead and, and prepared uh, some areas down here to to work on so actually i need to go and get some more wood and i'll uh, continue the story while we do that so so like i was saying i was watching one of ethos labs episodes and uh, he was talking about how he got into minecraft um what started him you know what encouraged him to to start making videos and uh, how he came about doing what he was doing or what he's doing at the moment um and you know he as far as i can remember from the video he 
he stated that he watched before he even so much as started recording videos. He did a little bit of market research and uh, looked. Oh gosh, I, oh, I'm so unprepared. This is unreal. So yeah, he did a little bit of market research and uh, looked at other people's let's plays and decided what he and did and didn't like from those videos and tried to make sure that in his episodes he includes in you know in I don't know if in every single one but uh, you know just in general um, he includes the the things that he liked from those videos into his let's play and I found this quite interesting because this is also what I did um, without even having you know watch that video so I didn't I didn't become a sheep and, and follow follow him so to speak it was basically just something that you do or that I did off my own initiative and um, you know watching watching other people's videos is, is very important I think um, you know it enables you to gather an idea of, of commentary style uh, I mean there's so much to learn from there's one across the top is there yes there is so there's so much to learn from the time that you start making videos to i don't know to get to get yourself established and it's always a, a learning curve there's always uh things to to pick up and stuff that you didn't know little tricks of the trade and the most annoying one um not tricks of the trade but the most annoying thing that you encounter while making videos would be um the whole do I have slabs up here I guess I can pick some up uh, is the quality issues um, you, let me just tell you now as, as someone who's been through it all uh, and is probably still going to have to experience this in the near future uh, you're, you're going to definitely come across uh, video quality issues and audio quality issues uh, because it takes a significant amount of time or well I don't know it, it depends how much you know about video editing and uh, commentary and stuff and so on uh, beforehand if Minecraft isn't your first um, if this isn't the first time that you've you've ever made videos for YouTube you know you do Xbox gameplay uh, with commentary either live commentary would be a benefit you know it sounds like a, a job application at this point live Live, 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 I like to say live. Live commentary would be a benefit, however, not necessary. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. Something that a job advert here in the in the UK would would say at the bottom of it, um, if it was to do with that. But anyway, um, yeah, if if recording Minecraft is not your uh, first port of call, uh, you know, you've either done pre-recorded commentary or live commentary over it, then uh, it's probably a benefit for you. Uh, you know it makes it a lot easier but you're definitely going to come across some issues over time uh, encounter some things like I have uh, with video quality issues and having to record and learn how to record and what I mean Minecraft's a tricky game because it doesn't open at uh, full screen when you open it you know any other game you just learn to uh, record from from full screen and that would be that and then you'd learn how to resize it and so on and so forth so a little bit of a tricky game to to deal with uh possibly not the the best to uh start off your channel uh probably get some experience elsewhere in making videos and uh, and then come back to minecraft and see how it turns out for you but uh you know that'd be the the one bit of advice because it's took me i think i started recording in january uh, episode one was released january the 24th i think late january um is when that takes away the look hmm. let's see if I can get some cobblestone slabs up in here um, so yeah it takes away a bit of time um, and only now do I feel at the point where I can safely go out or produce a video and uh, and for everything to work um, you know despite last episode the troubles that I encountered were self-inflicted, so to speak. Um, you know, because it's uh, 
what went wrong, I know why it went wrong. Uh, like I say, with the menu, it was pretty simple. Just forgot to click a button and uh, and start recording. But uh, you know, apart from that, it was uh, self-explanatory and uh, and it's fixable. Everything was definitely fixable from the uh, from the last episode. So uh, so yeah, that's it. Not. Uh, not a bad episode, definitely a, a significant lot better than the um, last one. Just clear up and put everything away here before we end the episode off. And I guess we can just jump. Jump? No, we won't jump. I'm not that athletic in my videos. Um, what is it with sugar? The It really needs to introduce more reasons for sugar in the game. It's either that or I just generally have absolutely no idea what to use it for. Of course, apart from pumpkin, pumpkin, even pie, so on and so forth. So, uh, so yeah, guys, that's it. Um, I have to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, you know, I hope this was uh, a more enjoyable episode for you. You know, we worked on this area some, um, we got a little bit done here, and then of course the area down there. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. As always, give the video a like. It helps more than you could ever imagine. And, uh, oh dear, apart from that, guys, thank you for watching.